welcome to a new vlog. It is Monday morning now. It's right before 10 o'clock, so I am on my planning. I was originally planning on vlogging a little bit this morning, and I just got working and totally forgot, so here I am now. Um, I have to work on a few things during my prep right now. I have to prep some things for our book clubs this afternoon, and there was something else that I had to do, but I don't remember. I had a list, though, so I'll have to go back to that. But anyways, so far, so good. My kids came in, like, super tired this morning, though, so it's like... Why are you guys so quiet like they're never that quiet so that was kind of weird but um we are working on long division multi-step long division problem word problems and whew, pray for me so that's what's happening when i pick my kids up from art so yeah that's what's going on um i have my new little bookshelf in the back so i'll show you guys that and then i need to get working so let me show you guys that bookshelf really quickly this is what I put on it so far. Just a lot of like Christmassy, wintry, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah type books on there. And then the top are like wintry chapter books. These are all picture books down here. And then this is actually broken at the bottom. So I might try to fix it or I might just put like some stuffed animals or something down there. I'm not sure yet. But the kids were all really, really excited. I also want to paint this black at some point, but it's on my to-do list. So haven't done that yet. guys so it's Tuesday now <clears throat> and I had one of those mornings maybe you guys can relate where I woke up and instantly when I woke up I said in my brain oh no I'm sick <sighs> so I'm not feeling very good this morning and I laid in bed for the first couple minutes after waking up and thought to myself is it worth writing sub plans and decided no it's not so here I am um, I have a very very sore throat this morning <clears throat> and um, my allergies are acting up of course on top of it so my eyes already um, not feeling great this morning and then um, I'm just having like a lot of drainage which is probably TMI but that's what's going on this morning that's what the reality is I am exhausted and I got plenty of sleep last night so I shouldn't be um, plenty of sleep for me at least and so not fun but i'm just gonna do my best today i'm gonna teach my kids i'm gonna love on them and hopefully i will feel better throughout the day i took um a vitamin c vitamin this morning which i used to take them every day and i haven't been as good about that lately so perhaps that's why i'm getting sick um but anyways i did that i drank a lot of water took my allergy med medicine um so hopefully i'll start feeling better pretty soon but um i'm actually to school quite a bit later than normal not quite a bit but it's 7 30 right now i usually get here about seven so i decided to just take a little bit of extra time at home because i didn't really have anything i had to prep this morning which is kind of nice um i'm feeling pretty good about this week i've had most of it prepped or I have most of it prepped already um there's definitely still things i need to do and figure out but um i had enough for today at least if that makes sense so I know what's going on today so I guess I'm just taking it day by day right now um, which is fine so anyways I need to go run down and grab some supplies out of the office though because we are actually doing our like school families today so once a month I think um, we get together with a group of K through 5 kids who um, stay the same like throughout their entire time at our school so the only kids who like change every year are the kindergartners obviously and then the fifth graders would leave at the end of the year but it's kind of cool because they stay with the same teacher all those years and um, it's just like an extra adult for the kids to connect with and um, be able to spend some time with so once a month we do 20 minutes where we like read a little book together like a picture book and do a little like craft or activity so that's today so I need to go pick up the craft supplies from the office um and the book so anyways i am going to go do that and i will see you guys at some point today yay hey there guys so now it is wednesday my hair is looking a little crazy let me move that around um i think it's the 12th i want to say 
maybe, perhaps. Um, and anyways, it's the morning, 7.30 right now. I just got to school, again, a little bit later than I normally do, but with good reason this morning because this morning I made a really good green smoothie, which I haven't done in a while, and it always just makes me think back to when I was in high school because when Chris and I first started dating, like when we were babies, basically I was 16, he was 17, he used to make me smoothies in his magic bullet like every morning before school and then he would bring it to my first hour and he would quickly run down and give it to me and I would drink it in my first hour and then he would take it home and wash the cup and bring me a new one the next day and it was just one of those really cute things that kind of just you know made me fall in love with him so every time I have a smoothie in the morning I always think of him especially if it's like on these cold days because he was always bringing me the smoothies even if it was like freezing outside snowstorm like I still got a smoothie every morning so anyways kind of just a fun little memory but I had a smoothie this morning which was really really good I'm glad I did that and then I went to get a car wash so <laughs> the car wash place is a little ways out of my way but Chris convinced me to get the unlimited monthly um, car wash thing and so I kind of want to get my money's worth so um, I went the other day and then I went again today and I'll probably go again later this week so that way I can get my money's worth. So anyways, that was nice. And it was nice because um, in the past, like I've always gone on the weekends and it's always so crazy busy on Saturdays and Sundays because everybody in Michigan has to get their car washed in the winter. If you didn't know that, if you don't live somewhere where there's a lot of snow, you probably don't know that in like Michigan and other states where there is a lot of snow, there's also a lot of salt put onto the roads. And so your car gets really nasty looking. And so if you don't wash that off off often then your car starts to rust really quickly if you live um, somewhere where they salt the roads so anyways I have to get lots of car washes because I got a new car as I told you in one of my last vlogs and I want to make sure it stays looking nice so Anyways, moral of the story, I drove out of my way to get a car wash, and so now I'm at school a little bit later. You might be able to tell in my voice, um, I'm still feeling kind of icky, um, kind of really icky, actually. Like, I'm so congested right now, and I just have, like, so many weird sinus things going on, um, but I did make a doctor's appointment. The soonest they could get me in is this upcoming Monday. So I'm going to go in Monday afternoon. I'm taking a half day so I can go in. And I requested some allergy testing, but they said they'll have to like wait and let me know because they would have to order something for that. I'm not really sure what because I've never been tested for allergies before, so I don't really know like what that entails, but um, she just said I'll have to like wait and see. So anyways, hopefully I can get my allergy testing done. I think I might call again on Friday and just like follow up and say like hey just want to make sure I'm getting allergy tested on Monday like hope that's fine so anyways I think I might do that but we'll wait and see so anyways this morning I need to finish creating a little practice packet for my kids for long division I feel like that's been the theme of my last few videos it's just like I'm scared of long division. I don't like teaching long division. Um, but anyways, it has to be done, and so that's where I am right now. And I will say when I'm doing these concepts that are really tricky and that are not fun to teach, I just think back to when I was teaching first grade and I really miss it because there were obviously like some really difficult things for first graders to grasp as well, but like I felt a lot more comfortable with the material I was teaching in first grade, and I just miss that because right now I'm really struggling to figure out the best way to to teach a concept that is um, very difficult and so I've been teaching it and most of my kids are getting it um, for the most part but now we're <laughs> also factoring in some multi operational word problems and I had a volunteer in here yesterday who's a college student and she read one of them and was like I don't even know how to solve this so if she who is a very intelligent young woman did not know how to solve a problem like I'm asking nine and ten year olds to do it you know what I mean like it's just frustrating because their stuff is really really hard like their math is incredibly difficult and so I'm frustrated because I find it difficult so like obviously they're going to as well so what can you do though so anyways I need to finish up a packet I created like three out of four pages this morning so I need to finish that fourth page and then I'm going to make copies and I'm going to actually do the whole packet myself. I always have a no write zone at the front. So what that is, is I have it for everything that we do pretty much and it's just so kids can check their work as they go and check their answers. So I'll show you what I mean. For my stations, 
I have like this convention station no right zone and inside it has like an answer key and so I try to do this for every single thing that we do because I think it's important for kids to be able to check their own work as they go and that way they can do it self-paced versus waiting for me to do like a problem on the board or something so I just have found that it's a way better way to do it and the no right zone comes in because they're not allowed to bring their pencils up because I don't want them just like copying down the answers I want them checking their work I will let them bring a highlighter though to highlight the ones that are incorrect so anywho we're surviving here in fourth grade my eyes are like so watery already this morning and red and sad and I have like a problem with putting in eye drops you guys like I physically cannot make myself put eye drops in my eyes like I literally it's so bad it's like embarrassingly bad but I can't do it I have eye drops I just bought some but um, yeah I physically cannot put them in my eyes so it's a little bit of a problem also yesterday I went to Meyer after work and I bought a bunch of fruits and veggies and healthy things because I have not been eating very well lately I've been eating a lot of fast food and I need to cut that out because that is not good for me and that is not gonna help me be healthier and feel better so I have my little Meyer bag right here but I have a ton of food for the week so I'm gonna leave um, food for lunch in my fridge and then I even have like some snacks and food for dinners and stuff like that because I often stay at school until like 5 ish 5 30 6 o'clock sometimes um, sometimes later if we're being honest but usually that's the latest um, but anyways so sometimes when I'm leaving it's dinner time and so I'll stop and get dinner on the way home and that's not good so I have tons of food in here I made let me show you well first of all I got one of these I love these things when you're like in a pinch you don't have time to make anything these are like fancy Lunchables. They're not that good for you, I'm sure, but they're really, really yummy. So I got one of those. And then I bought some mason jars. Um, they're like the off-brand mason jars. They're just like clear ones that don't have any like bell or any logo on it. Um, but I made some taco salad last night. So I just like browned up some hamburger meat and put taco seasoning in it. And then there's like tomatoes, romaine lettuce. Um, I did make sure it was grown in the area that hasn't had like the E. coli outbreaks. I think it was like in Arizona somewhere um, that this was grown. And then I have some cheese at the top and I bought some dressing and I'm just gonna like shake it up and put in some of these tortilla chips just to top it off. And that's gonna be my lunch today. So I made three of these. Um, so that way today's Wednesday. I have a meal for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And so I should be good to go. And then I bought some apples. So I have like honey crisp and I have gala, I think it is. Gala, gala. I'm not really sure how to say that. Let me know in a comment below how you pronounce that. Um, and then I have some skinny pop as a snack. This is the sweet and salty kettle. And then I also bought some of these just like regular popcorn just like have here at school because I have a microwave so that way if I get hungry I can just make up some popcorn after school and have that as a nice little snack to hold me over so that way I'm not like starving when I leave and feel like I like have to get something on the way home and then also super random but you guys told me in my last vlog that I should buy some bullets to go with the nerf gun so I bought these so thank you guys for letting me know in the last one um, if you missed that one I am like doing the adopt a child um, to give gifts to for Christmas and then also I got him a Rubik's Cube which is like super random but I don't know I just saw it and I was like oh my gosh I used to love playing with Rubik's Cubes back in the day and like I remember my brothers were like obsessed with them up until like high school so I feel like a nine-year-old would enjoy that and I know my kids in my class would too so anywho got all of those fun things so now I'm gonna work on organizing those I'm gonna finish up my math packet make my copies and I will try to check in with you guys at some point today, but we'll see. I've kind of only been doing like one little clip per day, which I apologize for. But I will try to be better about that and maybe film like a couple clips today. So, I'll see you when I see ya. Hey there guys, so I am on my planning now. It is 10.15 and I am working on planning some English um, ELA stuff. And right now I'm actually making a Kahoot for us to review the story that we're reading this week. Um, so I'm excited about that because um, I normally don't have the Chromebooks or I don't have enough Chromebooks to have my whole class do it. But this afternoon I just found out that I will have enough. So I'm super excited for that. So I'm just finishing up a couple questions on that Kahoot. And then, um, yeah, I need to make a sheet for writing this afternoon, and I think that's about it. I have to pick up my kids in about 20 minutes, um, a little bit under 20 minutes, so 
trying to remember what I was gonna say. I feel like there was another thought that I had in my brain and now it's gone. But anyways, oh, I remember. I bought this stuff yesterday. This is Skinny Pop, the sweet and salty kettle, and I've never had it before. I've had other Skinny Pop and like Boom Chicka Pop and stuff like that, but I haven't had that flavor, and oh my gosh, you guys, it is so good. Like I just ate way more than I should have, but it was so yummy, and it's like not that bad for you, so I don't feel too bad about it. But anyways, that was really exciting. So if you haven't tried that flavor before, you should probably add it to your basket when you go to Target or Meyer or Walmart or wherever you go next because it was so good. So anyways, I'm going to keep working so I can get everything done, but I just wanted to check in because I'm working on checking in better this week or today, I guess. So I will see you guys when I see ya. Hey there guys, so I am home now. I changed into some workout clothes and now I'm going to do a quick workout on the elliptical. Um, I actually already started and then I realized I should vlog really quick so that's why I'm like out of breath. Um, yeah, so I stayed after school for just a little bit to work and now it is 5.30. So by 5.30, which is pretty good, and changed into different clothes, that is a um, definite win for me. So anyways, I am going to do a workout. Like I said, I think earlier in this vlog, I'm trying to get healthier to keep my body healthier and fighting off the sicknesses that I am getting and the allergies and whatnot. So workout time and so I'm gonna do that now and then I do have some more schoolwork stuff to do a little bit later but we're gonna save that for a little bit later and we're gonna do a quick workout now also I have my iPad set up right here this is my personal one this is actually my Christmas gift from Chris I got it early he got his early too I got him an Apple watch and he got me an iPad Pro and so anyways that's all set up over there and then we still have like little gifts that we're gonna exchange but those were like our big gifts and we just decided since we like picked them out we would exchange them early so I have that set up and I have been binge watching best things to buy on Amazon videos which is so random like but you guys it's literally like a black hole of videos that you can never ever get out of like I've been watching them for the past like probably four days and I've watched so many of these best things to buy on Amazon videos and they are so addicting and so I might have to do one eventually let me know if you guys would be interested in that I could even do them with like different themes like best lifestyle things or fashion things because I love Amazon not sponsored I just love it I literally buy like everything on Amazon, even like Jack's cat litter and cat food and stuff. A lot of times I buy that on Amazon. And so I could definitely do that video. So let me know if that's something you would be interested in. But if you haven't watched those Amazon videos before, seriously, just search it because they are so addicting. I have watched so many and I can't stop. So that's what I'm watching right now during my workout. And yeah, I'm going to continue, but I will see you guys now, I guess, in this next clip. <laughs> So it is Thursday now, the 13th, I believe, and um, I'm actually on my plane right now. My nose looks super red because I've been blowing my nose literally all morning. I do not, 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 not feel well at all. <laughs> um, and I can't decide which lighting is gonna be the most flattering for my like situation right now, so that's why I'm moving around, but anyways. Um, like I said, it's Thursday, it's my planning. I actually have had a student in here all morning from Grand Valley who's actually a friend of mine who's going to school to be a teacher and so she's been observing me this morning and she's super awesome and has just been like really hands on with the kids and like walking around and asking questions and stuff which I love. If you're an education student, like do that. Teachers love when you actually like interact with the kids when you're observing and walk around, at least I do and like every teacher I've ever observed love that too. So anyway, she's been great. And um, I am just feeling rough today though. Like I just have like, this is probably TMI, so maybe skip over this if you're like sensitive, but um, I have like so much drainage going on. Like I cannot stop blowing my nose, you guys. Like I have probably used like half a box of tissues like just between yesterday and today. Like it is so bad. So anyways, I'm not feeling great, but like the kids have been so good, so blessed for that aspect for sure um so for this morning we did some reading around the room with whisper phones and we're working on a review packet for our test on tuesday which is not fun but we're doing it and then um we have some more math going on before lunch um before we leave for lunch so anyways right now i need to prep a couple things so that is what i'm going to work on but i wanted to just check in with you guys say hello 
I think I found the most unflattering lighting, perfect. Um, I am like so discombobulated this morning and I think it's just because like this head cold is just, woo, it's a lot. So anyways, checking in, just saying it's not fun to not feel good when you're teaching because you still have to be like happy and bubbly and excited about life. But like, I'm also just like fighting this headache and I'm like, ah, what's happening? So anyways, I will check in with you guys a little bit later. Hello friends, it's after school now and I'm with Melissa. Hi. If you're new, this is Melissa. She's my very best friend. She teaches second grade like two doors down from me. She's my maid of honor. She's the best. And so after school, we decided to hang out, get some dinner. Now we're doing a little bit of Christmas shopping. It's true. We just left Target and now we're going to Five Below. So, ooh, <laughs> that was exciting. So anyways, yeah. Anything you want to say, Melissa? Any check-ins you need to do? Um... No, but hope everyone's so having a good holiday season. Oh my gosh, you're so pleasant. I love it. Okay, we're going to Five Below. Woohoo! Did you get here? What did I get? Socks? <laughs> and a uh, hand sanitizer. Yeah. A candy. Okay, I should get two candies and then I think that's good. Perfect. Love it. You're doing great, honey. Thanks. <laughs> we're just like J chilling in like Five Below. Really like I like them. I really like them. I like them. Does everyone like these? We're just like talking I'm across. Does anyone, does, anyone, does anyone like these? I like them. Comment below. <laughs> All right, love it. Love that for us. Would love to see one of my kids here. I'm sure that'll happen one day. Hey there guys, so it is Friday now and I am on my planning. It's right before 10 a.m. And I um, actually, I didn't vlog a whole lot yesterday. I think I vlogged with Melissa just a little bit um, after school. But other than that, I had planned on coming on again because I ended up going back to school because I had to bring her back to her car, which was at school. And I was just gonna go in and make my copies really quick and leave. Well, somehow I'm not very good at just making copies and leaving. So I ended up staying here until like 10 o'clock last night um, or a little bit later than 10 probably even so not really super proud about that not sure how that happened um, I got back here at 8 to drop Melissa off and I was literally just like oh I'm gonna make my copies so I don't have to worry about it in the morning and so I came in and I started making copies and then I was like "Ooh, I'm gonna make a math packet up really quickly while I'm here like I might as well and I have that big test coming up on Tuesday so seriously pray for me and my kids like I'm so nervous um, but anyway so I was like I'll just make up like an extra practice test type packet for them to do over the weekend um, if they want to with like all my answers on the back and so those take a long time I don't know why I was thinking like oh I'll just do this like 15 minutes and then leave no it took me like an hour and a half so anyways I did make that up though and I just told the kids like kids I was here until 10 o'clock last night working on this like this is really important to me it needs to be important to you as well um, and they were all like yeah we'll make sure we do it so we'll see if they all do but um, normally I never ever assign homework on the weekends and I also like rarely assign homework during the week I do like I'm like supposed to assign the homework out of our curriculum so I do but I only assign like a few questions each night like usually like five or less and they have the option to like do them in class so like that's how I kind of get around it because there's like little to no research that shows that homework actually helps however I will say that like my kids parents want them to have homework because they want to see like what they're doing in class like for the most part so um, that's like kind of how I've found like a happy medium I guess is just assigning some problems and then they still take it home even if they're like done with those five done with it or like done with the five problems because then that way if they want to like do extra homework at home they have it so I don't know and I have some kids who like complete all of it every single night because they love doing homework so anyways it's just kind of that happy medium for me and that's kind of just what I found that has worked but anyways I am having a really really good week you guys and I know I'm supposed to be super stressed with like the holidays coming up and um, like the kids have been a little like squirrely and stuff but I just love my kids and I love what I'm doing and even though it's been stressful with this big test coming up and with like 10 million things to do before winter break like I am really enjoying my kids and teaching this week like I don't know what it is but like I feel like I have found my sweet spot and I am finding things that work and I'm getting into this rhythm and it just feels really good and yesterday I had a conversation with my kids during our meeting circle 
about how and I don't even know why or like what made it come up but basically like my kids were asking me like oh when we're in fifth grade like can we still come visit you and I'm like well gosh I hope you will like you guys are my kids and I just told them like you guys are my first group of kids like you guys are always going to be so special to me like when I'm old and gray I will still remember you guys and they just were really touched by that and they were all asking me like will you come to my high school graduation like will you come to my college graduation like someday when I'm a teacher like I get I hope I get to work with you and just like all of these amazing things and like my kids just have such big hearts and I just felt so loved yesterday and like I was just like really loving on them and it was just really nice and so that was a good conversation to have with them for sure. So anyways, um, I need to get a few things done during my planning today because I want to plan for next week. I haven't really done a whole lot of planning for next week yet. Um, so luckily I'm planned all for today at least, so that's good. Um, but yes, I am going to do some planning for next week, I think, t right now, today. So I don't have to do this weekend because I have a pretty busy weekend coming up. So anyways, I will check in with you guys at some point. <laughs> Also, before I forget, I thought I would show you guys really quick this cute little thing my school does called um, getting socked. So I got socked today. Um, there's this cute little, little poem that goes with it. And basically, you just like fill up this sock with fun things. And so anyways, I was socked. And so I got some gummy bears. And I got a really, really cute ornament from Kohl's, which it has like little fuzzies from the sock on it. So I need to get those off, but really really cute totally my aesthetic and then this really yummy cookies and cream Hershey's which I probably will eat right now and then oh, look how cute this is this little tumbler I love that so anyways I actually already started filling it because um, Melissa had gotten socked too yesterday I picked up a couple little things for if I got socked or like when I got socked so I have a couple little things in here already but this is the sock that it goes in and then the little poem and it's just super cute. So anyways, I'm going to fill that up this weekend and then bring it back in on Monday and sock somebody else. So that's just a fun little tradition if you guys are looking for something to like do with your coworkers. I know it's probably a little late now, I guess, but maybe for next year, um, that's just super fun. So anyways, I will talk to you later. Hey there guys, so it's actually Saturday now and I am about to edit this vlog and I realized that I had a couple packages come in this week that I didn't get a chance to share with you guys yet and I thought I should share it in this vlog. So, I had two different packages come in of people who donated books to my classroom, so thank you so, so, so much. Um, the first one is from Christine. It says, Hi Kim, Merry Christmas. Hope your students enjoyed the two books. The books were so interesting that I could not pass it up for your class. So the first book she got me is Tiger Rising, or The Tiger Rising, by Kate DiCamillo. And I actually recently read this book and I really enjoyed it. So I actually want to do a book um, club or like a literature circle on this book because I love it. So if you haven't read this one, it's a really, really, really good one. And then also she got me this book, which how beautiful is this? It's called Snow and Rose. And I haven't read this one, but I am so excited to. Like, it just looks gorgeous. I'm so excited for this book so thank you so so much Christine that was so generous and I am so excited to add those to my classroom library and then Michaela wrote a note that says hi Kim I'm a subscriber and I absolutely love your videos and all you do for your kiddos I'm currently in my junior year of college also studying to become a teacher happy holidays from Michaela so Michaela got me this book which is escape from mr. Lemoncello's library and I'm so excited to add this to my library as well and I just appreciate the continued support and all of you who have donated off my Amazon wish list but also just all of you who support my channel by watching my videos and leaving kind comments and giving me the thumbs up and that notification bell and all that stuff like it just means so much to me you guys like it is just ah fills my heart so anyways I need to end this vlog because a my camera battery is like flashing it's about to die and B because it's just time to end it and start a new one so thank you guys so much for watching remember you are incredibly beautiful and loved and I will see you guys in the next video bye guys